What up, what up, it's Day and in this video I'm going to telling you how to get a muscular body, right? Everyone always wants to get a muscular body and I'm going to tell you exactly how to do it. I myself, I've got a little bit of a muscular body. I'm not saying I'm the best in the world, but I've definitely packed up some size. I know what I'm doing now. So I'm going to be telling you exactly what I've learned and what you actually need to know in order to get a muscular body, right? So obviously I'm going to cover nutrition and training, the two most important points, and then also recovery. I'm not going to cover too much in the video, but this is real, real important, right? So... Let's start off with training, right? In order to get a muscular body, you need to train. If you just eat healthy, you're obviously gonna be healthy internally, but if you're not training, you're not breaking down your muscle fibers, they're not gonna grow, you're not gonna get muscular. So, train, this is real important. As you know me, or if you don't know me already, power building is the shit, in my opinion. Three factors when you, have, when you train needs to happen. Mechanical tension, which is basically in simple terms, like power lifting, lifting heavy, um, metabolic stress is like bodybuilding, chasing a pump, cell swelling, shit like this. And then muscle damage is kind of like bodybuilding again, hitting the muscle from different angles, concentrating on some eccentrics and stuff like this, right? So those three factors have to be in your workout if you want to maximize muscular hypertrophy and get a muscular body, right? So let me explain. First of all, power building. When you go into a workout, the first exercises are always compound exercises. And with power building and my whole philosophy, you don't necessarily need to do power building, you could do periodized programs, but just get concentrate on getting stronger the compound exercises. This is gonna be the fastest way in order to get a muscular body, and I'm telling you this shit works. All the time I see people doing isolation exercises instead of compound exercises, and it just doesn't work. Isolation exercises have their time and place, but let me explain. So get stronger at the compound exercises first, like probably two compound exercises uh, every workout for example I do pull push legs so pull there I'll do um, deadlift and then I'll do uh, chin ups those are my two compound exercises and for bicep curl like the compound for biceps I'll just do like a heavy heavy barbell curls but in my push there I'll do like bench press first and uh, dumbbell shoulder press second like there you go again concentrating on my two heavy compound movements first and then the second part of the workout is concentrating on a metabolic stress part. So the first part is me mechanical tension. Second part is metabolic stress. So that's when I move on to the isolation exercises. Really concentrating on chasing the pump, the contraction, hitting the muscle from different angles. There comes muscle damage, right? So those three factors are on every single one of my workouts. And you need, like research has shown us, you need these factors in order, in order to maximize muscle growth as a natural. <laughs> that's really important to note. So... Yeah, that's how you can get a muscular body, just like summarized it in simple terms. Just progressive tension overload is primary factor to muscle growth, basically lifting more weight over a period of time. Right? And then volume also has their place, but that's when the isolation exercises come in. So, that's training. In order to get a muscular body, that's probably the basics of training that I give most people. Second part is nutrition. Without nutrition, you're not gonna make any gains, right? I see this all the time. I see the same person in the gym from January to December. They're in the gym every single day, but I can tell they don't have a clue what to do with their nutrition because they look the exact same. I was gonna swear, but no need for that shit. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, nutrition. Let's get let's get into this, man. In order to build muscle, in order just to get a muscular physique, muscular body, whatever you wanna call it. You need to be in a calorie surplus. I say this in every single one of my nutritional videos about building muscle, calorie surplus, and then progressive tension overload. That's how you get a muscular body, right, in summary. But calorie surplus, again, it's just basically eating more calories than your body requires per day. In order to do this, do 15 times your body weight in pounds. That will give you calorie maintenance plus 500. That's gonna give you a lean, bulking phase. And I just dropped that out of my hand. So yeah. That's, that's basically what you need for your nutrition. You can eat whatever you want. Natural foods aren't any better than processed foods. When we talk about physical appearance here, internally, of course, that's gonna matter, but I always still recommend going a healthy foods way because you can still eat a lot. Whereas if you eat processed foods, you're probably gonna go over that 500 calorie surplus, right? So you're just gonna be gaining fat, not muscle. And one thing really to know and really important that a lot of people don't understand is by eating more than 500 calories over your calorie maintenance, it's not gonna give you any more muscle gain, it just doesn't. It's gonna give you more fat gain and muscle gain, but eating, it's like an inverted year, right? So for example, say you eat 500 calories, that's like optimal, 
and then afterwards you're still gaining muscle but you'll gain fat so the the results will just come down and down because there's no point of just gaining fat and muscle at the same time of course if you're eating a surplus this will happen but the bigger the surplus the more fat you will gain in essence so yeah that's nutrition and training probably summarized up to get a muscular or get a, just get a good physique right i hope this helped and just before i end the video i'm just quickly going to give a quick little taping for recovery recovery just sleep about eight nine eight to nine hours a day and that should give you a decent recovery and drink a lot of water four to six liters so that's probably summarized up on how to get a muscular body and muscular physique so if you enjoyed the video subscribe down below hit the notification bell so you get notified of my three videos a day on nutrition building muscle intimate fasting cardio all of this shit so anyway hope you enjoyed the video stay positive stay smiling and i'll see you in the next one